So after a while away from shooting, decided to buy myself a Browning. As you can see, I'll do a bit of a quick unboxing video. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen plenty on the internet. Um, comes with sliding catches, no locks. You don't need one anyway. So just see what you get in the box. That's as it comes directly from Countryman at Derby, who are absolutely fantastic shop to go to. I'll get my shit load of shooting supplies. As I say, it comes wrapped. And obviously, it's not going to stay like this, but um, trigger lock, barrels. This particular model is a right hand cast 30 inch sporter. Uh, what you get in the box, you get the paperwork, you get a box inside there is a couple more chokes, a choke key and the auto safety bar should you decide to put back at auto safety. It's not something I do because I only shoot clays. Um, I've already opened this as you can see and that's just the packaging for the for the trigger lock. So what I'm going to do is just tap these out. It's a bit difficult one handed but I'll give it a go. Um, it's not a bad bit of wood on this. Um, grade 2. A little bit of marking on it as you can see. A little bit of uh, fiddle back, very slight, but straight grain through. This is really typical of what you get with uh, a Browning Grade 1. Um, I'm just going to pause it while I uh, take the trigger lock off. Okay, um, as you can see the trigger lock's off. It is a combination lock, it's easy to set. Um, you press in there and you alter it to what you want. Um, also in here, this is the original Inflex uh, pad. Comes as 20 mil as standard. You can get 12 if you need to shorten it, or you can get to 25 mil, which is what I've gone for because I'm uh, quite tall, I've got longer arms. Um, the length of pull is a bit better for me. Comes as uh, 14 and three quarters as standard, but uh, obviously you know with the extra sort of five six mil. Takes it up to around the 15 inch mark, so uh, it's better suited for myself. As you can see, the wood's not bad. Action is uh, adjustable trigger, and the engraving is uh, is quite nice. Uh, obviously, it's not massively deep. A bit of uh, engraving on the uh, top lever, and obviously the side on the bottom. Just tell you what it is: uh, B525 Sporter One, and then the Browning Stag. Obviously on the trigger card, it's quite nice. So like I say, adjustable trigger. I've not played with that yet. I've literally got it yesterday. Um, okay, getting onto the barrels. These are 13-inch barrels, in vector plus chokes, quarter and half chokes installed. Um, nice, again, it's, it's not a bad forend. Um, I've seen worse wood-wise. Uh, but again, this is the entry-level browning, so I don't expect it to be uh, absolutely fantastic wood. However, if you shop around, you can get some really nice ones. So just take the fore end off, the ironwork. Um, it's a very good system, to be fair. I've had one before many years ago, and uh, they're very reliable. Um, overboard, 18.7, uh, three inch chambered. So uh, it's pretty future proof at the moment. Obviously not knowing what the government's gonna do. Nothing can be totally future proof. However, what I'm going to do now is just pause the video, because I'm trimming this one-handed. I'm just going to pause it whilst I, uh, I fit the, uh, the barrels onto the action. Okay, and here we are. Totally uh, put together. Just running through. That's through the, uh, the one-inch uh, pad on the end. Inflex pad. Uh, doesn't look too bad. I would have liked it a little bit less, but... You know, beggars can't be choosers, needs to fit. Um, as you can see, it's the adjustable trigger. I want it's gold plated or gold coloured, and eventually it does wear off, but uh, at the moment it's looking nice. Ventilated uh, top rib and mid rib. Again, you've got a white bead um, at the end. Just get to focus. You've also got a, uh, a mid bead halfway down, which is nice. Okay, just going on, just to say the engraving, um, it's not mega, it's sufficient, um, it's not bad, it's not bad at all, to be honest. Yeah, that's better, better in focus. Um, bit of 
the canvas, I think. Scroll work. Quite nice. Um, not a bad gun. It's, it is what it is. It's a reintroduction for myself back into clay shooting. Uh, reliability of a brownie. Um, we're getting a, uh, a Beretta Silver Pigeon next week for my son. Um, or I'll put some uh, videos, do a bit of a review. Like I said, I've not shot this yet. When I shoot it, I'll do a review. Although there are plenty online and people are a lot better than myself. But sometimes it's nice to just uh, get a review from someone that's, that's not uh, a professional YouTuber. And it can give you an honest, honest sort of opinion. If you do want one of these, I'd highly recommend Derby. Um, countrymen at Derby. Staff are brilliant, knowledgeable. They make sure that it fits properly as much as they can. Uh, wealth of knowledge. The prices are excellent. I saved uh, £160 on this particular one um, just by shopping around. And it was certainly worth the 30 minute drive to Derby just to, uh, to pick it up. Anyway, I'll. Uh, Speak to you soon. Thank you.